Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. So, I'm kind of keeping it simple, but I want to try some different techniques this morning. So, I was kind of thinking of just having this as the design. I'll maybe continue that line down there. But what I was thinking was, where's my big black pen? Now, I'm, I'm sure I bought a box of 10 of these and they were about £10 on Amazon. I like this Q-Connect. I think they're pretty reliable. I buy their glues as well. Anyway. Right, I need a sheet of paper because I don't want this to dry in too much. I want to remove some of it. It dries very fast. So what I'm trying to do is remove it as I do it. My pen was a bit too jumbled for those bits. I actually oh, I've got thread as well. I've got this string so that'll soak up. Let's try this one. I'm just trying to have some texture in here as well. There. Okay. Let's get some. When that's dry. I'm going to put some soft pastels on top. Right, so I'm thinking of predominantly a pur purple and yellow. I'm going to use this lilac. Literally just rub it on the paper and then actually easier but rip it off to more or less the size that's just baby oil from cleaning the plate I'm hoping that because we've removed parts of the black paint that this will show through in areas and create texture any wee bits okay that was skinny ones ignoring me okay. now the soft pastels I'm going to use transparent paints and the soft pastels give an opaque look with the transparent paints which I really like it's also fairly subtle
Okay, so I didn't record here. Transparent, easel yellow, in the circles with a paintbrush. Kind of just done circular paintbrush marks. This one, more of a semi-circle shape. I'm leaving these stencils on just now because I um, just want to... I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use the outer stencil or not yet. But the next thing I want to look at is... Bringing this line down. So, where's the charcoal? And I could have used black soft pastel for this. What I want to do is cut the top edge of this so that I can see clearly where I'm putting it. I think it would, I would like it to come down actually here. damp with baby oil and it helps just remove wee bits that you don't want or you've changed your mind about I'm going to use this pale blue you could use pan pastels they're just very smooth they don't give the same texture and it really just depends on what you're looking for. There. I know it seems fiddly doing all this, but it is worth it. Because you get a texture from this that you don't get in other ways. Good to keep these wee bits because they help for masking off for painting. Magenta, transparent magenta.
So I'm letting some of the black be under the red. And then what I'm going to do is a wee bit of water at the edge here. And a smaller one. So this is just to soften the the edge. Okay. So the next step is going to be let's leave it, don't fiddle. Now, I was thinking of keeping them translucent, but this is actually going to be translucent. So I'm going to put a little bit of soft pastel on. This is quite a vibrant yellow. It's going to be like three sunshines. going to pull the whole thing with transparent easel yellow so these should be quite subtle actually hopefully we'll see how it turns out okay so we're dry nearly I just I dabbed a couple of the water marks off that were left just to get a little bit of it just gives a little more variety to the shapes in that softer edge which we need to contrast with the strong edges everywhere else now i was going to pull it with yellow easel do you know what? i might pull this with the yellow easel and then pull this with i chose silver i figured that red it's obviously very warm colours and the only cool is down here, this pale blue really. So, silver's cool so we'll, and it's fairly similar. Mask this up. Use this one. The only thing is, is I need to work a bit fast. <gasps> do you know what I'm going to do actually? I'll put the silver over the whole thing. And then that way I don't need to worry about speed. Oh, that's going to be lovely. Oh, I'm very excited. I actually think this might be my most favourite design yet. I have Bristol board. I've not used this before. 240 GSM. This was half price, I think, which is why I bought it. Because it's only got 20 sheets in it. 
I'm going to use this because this is... I have high hopes for this. I hope Bristol Board is good on the gel plate. I did read it was. Right, I'm going in. So the water edges, they, they need at least half an hour to really dry. When you, you know, you use water to help make texture on the gel plate. That paint took quite a long time to dry. Um, Some paints dry as you're putting them on. It's just so many factors involved. I'm not using that. I'm going to use this one. This big one. And I don't know why I put silver directly on. I've been trying to be good and roll it out on the small gel plate so that I don't have... Sometimes you can get left with a kind of round mark. I have high hopes. But I'm not sure that I've put enough silver paint on to pull it all up. We just need to be hopeful. I'm going to put a big book on top of it just now. That book's probably about three kilograms. <laughs> it's definitely over two. Anyway. I've not used the Bristol board before, so we'll wait about ten minutes and see what happens. Okay, I've had a peek. I think it is lifting, so. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some more silver paint around the edges here. I mean, you can cut the edges off and I will be trimming it down, but it's quite a small line there and it's actually very important to the composition, so. I want to make sure that we pull that up. I don't think the Bristol board is any better than the cardstock that I've been using, but I've only tried it once, so. Okay. Let's repair this a little bit here. Anyway, I'm happy with it. I wanted this to be a more solid red. Still transparent though, but solid. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye.